Well, we got this little acre and a half field here that we plan on uh, putting a food plot in this year. Uh, want to test the soil and make sure it's compatible with our seed, make sure it's a uh, good soil for it. Uh, I got, actually got this here. It's a pH tester. Uh, got it from or or Westlakes actually. And uh, $7, real cheap. It gives you 10 uh, pH tests. So uh, what you do is dig down four inches, then you put your soil in there, then they give you these little capsules right here. You break open the capsules and you put the powder on top of the soil. Then you take your uh, your water dropper here and fill it up to the line, shake it, and you get your results in about a minute. So uh, we're going to test this out. It's just a little cloddy. I'm back on it. Concentration. Wait about a minute and uh, you got your color chart here. Just go off see what see what the uh, color is going to match it. All the all the soil and everything will settle to the bottom. By the time it settles to the bottom, it'll give you a good reading on the color. And then you go off your pH levels. They got different pH levels. You want to be a uh, good soil sample is between 6.2 and 7. Uh, anything higher is called alkaline. Anything lower is too acidic. So uh, we'll sit here and wait about a minute and see what our results are. Well, guys, we waited about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, got our reading here. Uh, actually, we're right, sitting right about 6.5, slightly acidic. Uh, so I mean, it's it's still good for a food plot. Definitely good for a food plot. Uh, now it's just putting in the time and the effort now of uh, disking it all up, and putting the seed in. So. Uh, not a bad reading, cheap, easy, great tool for when you're planting, you know, something you want to do every time, I'll tell you, because it will definitely save you on planting a, a food plot and not having to worry about burning your money on seed that ain't going to grow. Definitely a good tool, cheap and easy.